guys, welcome back. This is going to be part four of my cruelty-free makeup declutter. And in this installment, I'm going to tackle this area back here that houses mostly lip and eye products. And then I am also going to take care of some products that um, are in my like overflow drawers. The last makeup related one, which is overflow eye products. So I'm gonna actually start with those and then we'll dive into this shelf. So basically in that overflow drawer, I have backups of mascaras and things like that. Um, so I wanna go ahead and share with you which of those are cruelty free and which ones are not. Remember, if you're interested in more information about cruelty free, you can check out my previous videos and you can also check some of the links that I've listed below. Um, okay, so let's start first with the items that are not cruelty free. I have a couple of mascaras that I picked up in like sample extras kind of things like that from Sephora. I have the Lancome Excessive Black Hypnose Drama Mascara and this is not cruelty free. I think I'm keeping these. I'm not going to feature them on my channel but I already own them so I think what I'm going to do is throw them in a travel bag and I'll use them when I travel but they will not be used on my channel any longer and I certainly won't be purchasing from the company. Um, Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, that one as well. Um, or maybe I'll just put them in my giveaway box. I'm not sure if I feel like hanging on to them. Another thing I have, and this was a beautiful, amazing gift that I'm so sad about. I told you how much I love my Clinique High Impact Mascara. Um, I got this beautiful gift set of three mascaras from a friend over the holidays, and um, I have two of them that are unopened, so I think I will pass those on to people I love. I love the formula of this mascara, but um, I just it makes me so sad that Clinique is not a cruelty-free company. I really wish that they would push for that. It seems like something that would be in line with their philosophies, but I digress. A mascara that is cruelty-free that I mentioned before that I really like and it's comparable to the Clinique High Impact um, because of its big fluffy natural brush and because of its more like wet bold black formula is the Urban Decay Perversion. And I have this one in a little travel guide as well, so I'm keeping that, that is cruelty free. I have a um, unopened Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. I've never tried this before, but I got it when, so, or when Ulta had one of those deals and it was only like 10 bucks. So I need to try this out and Tarte is cruelty free. Their parent company is not but they maintain cruelty-free status. They do not sell in China. They do not test on animals, any of their ingredients or anything like that. So I'm sticking with Tarte. Um, and then this one I got in a glossy box. This is the L'Atelier Maquillage. Maquillage. I don't know how to say it because it's French. Um, I couldn't find a lot on this, to be honest. I think it's a small brand. I think, I don't know, but I know that it's made in Italy and um, I need to do some more research because I'm really not sure about this so I'm holding on to that. Let me know if you know anything about that brand. I've never heard of it. Another one that came in a subscription service is Jelly Pong Pong Fairy Lashes Curl Mascara. Um, Jelly Pong Pong is cruelty free so I'm holding on to that. So is Blink. Um, so this mascara um, amplified. This is one of those tubing mascaras. I haven't tried it yet. Um, curious about that, but this is also cruelty free. Um, NARS, I have a sample of their Audacious mascara. I haven't opened it, obviously, and um, NARS is cruelty free. Again, parent company, no, but NARS itself is. I have some lashes. These are from JCAT, and JCAT is cruelty free, so I'm holding on to those. Just got those, actually. I have the Duo Lash Adhesive. This is the brush on adhesive with vitamins vitamins yeah i said that strange um this is the brush on lash adhesive with vitamins and i like this lash adhesive a lot um and it's cruelty free this one's actually vegan as well and then i have some backup lashes from elf in this little satchel elf is cruelty free speaking of which i have a couple backups of the makeup remover pen i got them on clearance Save like 40 cents. They're not expensive as is, but um, I love these things for touching up mistakes with mascara, liner, anything like that. So that was pretty exciting because basically I'm keeping most of the things that I had in my backup drawer. I'm just saying goodbye to Smashbox, Clinique, and Lancome. 
All right, let's take a look at the shelf beside me. Um, again, I'm gonna list below after I go through all of my brushes. I'll let you know if any of them are not cruelty-free and I will give you that update, but I'm pretty sure that they are. My IT brushes, Zoeva, uh, BH Cosmetics, Sonia Kashuk, um, Morphe, Cargo, Real Techniques, ELF. Those might be my only brands and those are all cruelty free. So I'm just going to dig in a little bit deeper and see if I have anything else and let you know if they are or are not cruelty free. Let's dive into this shelf though. I'm going to start with the eye products. So I have a couple of Z palettes. I, I mean Z palette itself, I don't think tests on animals. It's cardboard and magnets. So I think we're okay there. These are all Makeup Geek shadows and Makeup Geek is cruelty free. I love, love their shadows so much. So excited about that. Um, and then I have a combination of Makeup Geek and Coastal Scents in here. Coastal Scents, I'm pretty sure, is cruelty-free as well. Basically, the sources that I've been reading don't have a definitive certification on Coastal Scents, whether they're cruelty-free or not. Um, they don't have any of the, like, Leaping Bunny or PETA certifications, but brands like Lorac also do not, but as a company themselves, they claim that they do not test their products on animals and they, that they only source ingredients from places that do not test on animals. So um, I'm going to go ahead and add them to my cruelty-free list, but if you find any definitive information otherwise, please let me know. But again, there's a lot of gray areas when it comes to cruelty-free because not every company gets a certification. But they definitely make their own claims, and I think that their claims go far enough by also referencing their ingredients. So I'm going to go ahead and um, qualify those as cruelty-free in my book. So this, again, is a combination of Makeup Geek and Coastal Scents. And this is all Coastal Scents. And I, again, I love building my own palettes. I love these little Z palettes. It's so much fun to work with. Let's take a look at my final stash of palettes. Um, in this little thing, which is actually a part of my brush organizer that sits on my desk. Um, um, okay, so let's take a look at the uh, shadows that are in this compartment. Okay, first of all, I have this Shea Moisture um, like Z palette kind of thing. It's a magnetic palette. It's a tin. It doesn't have a mirror in it or anything like that. Most of the shadows that are in here are from the brand Stilazi and they are a brand sold on friendsbeauty.com. I will list that website below because it's actually a great resource to get cosmetics. And if you sign up for their like email list or whatever, you get 10% off your purchases all the time, which is fantastic. Um, so anyway, most of these shadows are the Stilazi shadows from Friends Beauty, and they are a cruelty-free brand. They're also a really affordable brand, and they, they're they really nice shadows. So you don't hear a lot of buzz about those, but if you're interested in these like larger pan single shadows, check out Friends Beauty and Stilazi. And then I have a few Kiko shadows. All right, Kiko is not registered with Leaping Bunny or PETA. They decided not to pay for that certification, but their own policy is not to conduct testing on animals or to acquire any ingredients that are tested on animals. They do sell in China, but they sell in Hong Kong only, not in mainland China, and that is a big difference because the regulations and laws are different. So I am going to qualify Kiko as cruelty free. Again, if you have more info, let me know. Oh, shoot, there is one in here that I am going to get rid of. This little guy is from Sephora's collection. This is the shade 110, that's all it says, but it's this really pretty like shimmery silver shade. But again, Sephora, their brand does not claim to be cruelty free and so they are out. It's allowed. Okay, I have my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Love this guy, it's so beautiful. The colors are so nice and neutral, but some pops of color in there, love that. Love the smell, of course. And Too Faced is cruelty free. Naked Three, again, love these colors. This is the only Naked palette I have, and I absolutely love it. The colors are right up my alley. Urban Decay is cruelty free. Lorac, again, cruelty free. I have the Pro Two palette. 
beautiful colors as well. Fun pops of color in that one. And they're cruelty free. Anastasia Beverly Hills is cruelty free, which is excellent news. I really want to get into some more of their products because I've been so impressed with the shadows in this palette. And I know that people rave, of course, about their brow products. I'm not going to spend the money on their brow products, but maybe some of their lip products and highlights I'm going to look into. But love this. And again, Anastasia Beverly Hills is cruelty free. Another Lorac palette. This is my favorite from them. This is the original unzipped palette, and this is cruelty free. All right, more from Coastal Scents. Again, remember Coastal Scents does not carry a certification, but their own um, company policies are that they do not test on animals and that the ingredients that they acquire are also not tested on animals and they are not sold in China. So Coastal Scents, I'm going to go ahead and hold on to my Revealed 2 palette and my Revealed Smoky palette. I have the Makeup Revolution, let's see, it's the Redemption Eyeshadow Palette Iconic One. And this is a dupe for the Urban Decay um, Naked Original Palette. And it's really nice, high quality, really affordable. I think it's around $7 and Makeup Revolution is cruelty free. Another one from Makeup Revolution is the Salvation Palette in Unicorns Unite. I love this palette so much. It's so much fun and again cruelty free so I'm holding on to that. And then the only one I believe out of that whole compartment that I do have to give up is my Stila in the Light palette which is a darn shame because this is beautiful and Stila shadows are absolutely gorgeous um, but they're not a cruelty free company so I'm going to let this one go. All right, so I'm going to load things back up into that compartment and I'm going to go ahead and do my lip products next and then we are done. All right, you guys, we are go for lip products. I'm going to take you through this whole collection. Let's start with this little container. This is one of those little $1 storage containers from the Target dollar section. And in it, I have LA Girl Glazed Lippies. I have my Too Faced Melted Metals and Melted Lippies. I have my H&M Lipstick Collection. I have two lipsticks from Kiko, um, Kiko Makeup Milano, I guess is their full brand name. And I've already talked about most of these brands before, but they are cruelty free, including my Urban Decay. This is like my favorite lipstick of all lipsticks. This is the Urban Decay Sheer Lady Flower. Love this one. <clears throat> um, there's totally a neighbor walking outside my window looking at me like, who the hell is she talking to? What on earth is going on? That's funny. That's the first time that's ever happened. Hey, lady. Okay, anyways. Um, LA Girl Cosmetics is cruelty-free. Too Faced cruelty-free. H&M cruelty-free, as far as I can tell. Please update me if you know. Kiko, again, privately they're cruelty-free, but they do not pay for the certification. Urban Decay, again, a cruelty-free company. So I get to keep that whole entire thing. Huzzah. All right. I also have these Liptitude 24-7 Hydrating Lip Stains from J Cat Beauty. I have two shades, a sort of corally bold pink shade, and then a more uh, like rosy mauve pink, um, which is very bold, very deep. And this one is in the shade Hickalicious, and this one is in the shade Sippy Tipsy. Both of these are cruelty free. I'm going to pop those in this container. Okay. Um, now let's take a look at this thing that is full of sort of like my taller lip products, if that makes any sense. I have two LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Glosses, and I am going to hold on to those because LA Girl is cruelty free. I have something from a, another box that was, I think, a boxy charm that I got. This is the Jing Ai Velvet Shine Lip Jewel. And I have no idea. I'm going to have to look that up. That's, again, with those brands. They're so usually such small companies that I really don't know much about them. So far, though, I think every company that I've investigated from a box, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think every one that I've investigated has been cruelty-free. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Over here, I have a ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippy in Solo. Holding on to that, of course. I have the Tarte Heartfelt Lip Surgeon's Lip Cream. This is a really nice, really comfortable, pigmented, like pencil style lip product. And it stains, so it really lasts. This is Ravish Raspberry. It is a gloss by Milani. 
Milani is cruelty free, one of my favorites. This is the Pacifica Natural Minerals Power of Love Powerful Color Natural Lipstick. Okay, in nudie red. And this is a matte lipstick. It has kind of a funny smell. It's sort of like a, it's not a bad smell, but it's very like natural. There's no like vanilla or anything like that in it. Um, but Pacifica is cruelty free. Okay, I have a bunch of NYX here. I have a NYX High Voltage in shade 14. What shade are you? Rags to Riches. That is cruelty free. I have a butter lipstick from NYX in the shade Little Susie. That is cruelty free. I have the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Trace Leches, cruelty free. And of course, the Soft Matte Lip Cream by NYX in the shade Milan. NYX is cruelty free. All right, I have this LOC by Tati lip product. And honestly, this nude just didn't really work out for me. So I'm going to pass this on. But I'm not sure if that brand is cruelty free. I was looking at I was looking that brand up in particular yesterday, and I think it's just so new or something that there's not a lot of info about it. I know everything from Birchbox, they try really hard to find brands that are cruelty free, but I can't confirm it, so I am passing that one on. I have a Sephora um, cream lip stain. This is beautiful. Sephora products are not cruelty free, so I'm going to pass that one on. Someone would love that. I have a Bite Beauty, what are you? Matt, what are you called? <laughs> I don't even know. It's called a High Pigment Pencil and in the shade Meritage, Bite Beauty's cruelty free, so I'm holding on to that. I have an Ofra Lippy in the shade Malibu, I'm holding on to that. This is one of their liquid lipsticks. I have the Lock. L-A-Q-A, -A. do you pronounce that L'Aqua? I don't know, there's no U, so I'm not sure. And Co, Lip Lube, and this is a really fun, bold, like purpley pink color. I like to wear this in the summer a lot. Um, I'm pretty sure this is cruelty free, but I don't actually know, so I'm gonna have to investigate that. So I have two from boxes now that I'm investigating and LOC that I'm still not sure about. Um, I have a Lorac Lip Luxe lipstick. It's their eight hour lip color in the shade Scarlet. I love this shade. It's like, it's a pink red. It's so beautiful. Let me just swatch this for you. You need to see it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, and they are really long wearing. They're not completely matte, um, but they're close. And so I think that really helps with the wear time. And then I have a NARS pencil in Cruella, their Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. And I think this was the birthday gift from Sephora, and NARS is cruelty-free, so I'm holding on to that. I have a Rimmel Stay Glossy Lip Gloss. These are, like, my favorite formula of gloss from the drugstore, so I'm sad to see this little guy go, but Rimmel is not cruelty-free. I have a NARS lip gloss. This guy is, like, it's gone. I don't even think... I don't even think there's anything left. There's just like a glaze on the side of this. So I'm going to throw this little sample away. Um, but NARS is cruelty free. Same with this Buxom. This is like gone. You probably can't see it, but it's gone. This is the White Russian. It came in one of those Sephora lip kits, which was a really fun way to try out different products. Um, and I loved this. I actually really like the sample size of these glosses for taking in your purse. It's such a nice size. It fits in those little pockets so easily. Um, but I'm tossing this because it's gone, but Buxom is a cruelty-free brand. Okay, I have then a gloss from Bite Beauty. This gloss is in the shade Cur Royale, K-I-R, um, and it's a really thick gloss. I don't love this, so I'm going to pass it on to a friend, but Bite Beauty is cruelty-free. And then I have a Brilliant Color Lip Gloss from Ulta. It's actually just a sheer glossy gloss, and Ulta's in-house brand is cruelty-free, so I'm keeping this. This is actually a really nice gloss. Okay, the last part of this container that I've been like working my way around is this section because I'm already sad about it. All right, there's a couple things to be excited about, which are these. These are the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Balm Stains 
And these are amazing. They're so hydrating. They leave a beautiful amount of color on the lips. And then once the sort of moisture shine wears away, it does leave a stain on your lips. So they're very long lasting. They're just all around a really nice lip product. And they're about two bucks from the drugstore. So you can't beat that. And you can't beat that Wet n Wild is cruelty free. I have the shade A Stiff Pink. This is one of my favorites. It's Radioactive. Made you pink, which is more of a like rosy pink than a bright pink, and this one in ready or not. So love those, keeping those now for the sad news. Oh, the sad news is that my next favorite balm pencil are these by Revlon, and this is the matte balm formula, which I kind of just discovered recently, and I really like. Um, I like the formula a lot, and the color selections in these is really good. The wear time is good. They're comfortable. They have a slight mintiness, so if you like that, that's a cool thing. But um, I have to let them go because Revlon is not a cruelty-free brand, and I just don't want to support them. So I don't want them to appear on my channel, and yeah, so I'm letting them go. This is the shade Sultry. Um, and then the other matte one that I have is the shade Elusive, which is a lighter more natural pink. And then I have three of the um, Color Burst Balm stains. So these are not matte, they're a glossy finish, but again, they stain your lips beautifully a lot, like the Wet n Wild ones. So I'm just gonna like go full out on my Wet n Wild ones and see how many more colors I can get on those. Um, but I have this one in the shade Smitten. It's a beautiful berry color. I have this one I have this one in the shade Lovesick, another beauty. And then this one has been my favorite. It's the shade Romantic, and it's just a really nice red, but so sad to see these little Revlon lippies go, but I'm sure I have some friends that will love these, and I'm excited to build up my collection again with products that are all cruelty-free. Okay, last but not least is this little container that has um, just kind of random lip stuff in it and then lip pencils. So for lip pencils, I have two from um, Essence and these are just the regular lip liners. They're super affordable and Essence is a cruelty free brand. I love those. I have three from ColourPop that I purchased recently and ColourPop of course is a cruelty free brand. Those are the shades I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to those, of course. I have one from NYX, their retractable lip liner, um, pretty in pink. I'm going to hold on to that. NYX is cruelty-free. Model Co. we discovered and research was cruelty-free. I actually really like this one. This is, does it have a name? Illusion Lip Liner. The end cap of this is like a really bright pink, but the actual liner itself is like this nude pink, and it's the perfect nude pink. Really nice lip liner. And then the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Baby Berry. And Jordana is um, owned by the same company as Milani, I'm pretty sure. And they are cruelty free. So I get to keep all my lip liners. Sweet. All right, I have the e.l.f. Lip Stain in the shade Birthday Suit. Really bright pink. I'm going to keep that. I have the NYX Lip Primer. I'm going to keep that. And I have the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in Berry Sorbet. This is a beautiful matte lip color, a really nice berry. Um, so I'm excited to keep that. I have the Debrier, Debrier, Debrier I don't know how to say it, um, Lip Gloss. This is a really pigmented lip gloss, but it's a kind of thick formula that I don't find comfortable on my lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on but I don't know if it's cruelty free or not. I'm gonna have to look it up. It's another one of those that came in my glossy box with all French brands that I honestly, I don't know much about. So I'm gonna have to look this one up, but I am, I'm gonna pass it on anyways. I feel like I did pretty well in this one that there weren't that many products that I had to get rid of. Just a few mascaras, one single eyeshadow, and sadly my Revlon lippies, but um, overall I get to keep a lot, which is fantastic. I'm glad that so many brands I already love are cruelty free. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been really fun um, doing this research and doing the declutter. I feel proud of my collection and knowing that what's in it are products that I feel comfortable promoting to you and telling you how much I love about them. So thank you so much for watching and spending some of your day with me. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you next time. Bye guys. Thank you.